This great moment for the Right Honorable Raila Odinga, it's appropriate that I acknowledge on behalf of the country the role Mamaida Odinga has played in the life of this great son of this land. Mamaida Odinga, we salute you as a country for having been a very strong pillar to your husband in very difficult times and his lowest moments you have always been there for him we ask families to support their spouses so mama Aida Odinga as we wish you happy birthday it is my hope and prayer that your next birthday will be celebrated at Addis next year and if you invite President William Ruto to come and he's not able to come, Mr. President, I'll be very happy for you to send me <laughs> to represent you in that great birthday. We therefore want to say as a country, this is a great moment. And right Honorable Odinga, I have noted with a lot of appreciation, my wife, Pastor Dokas, who is a very prayerful woman, has been praying for me and the President daily. And I noted from yesterday she has added you in her prayer. And because her prayers work, we have no doubt that you will get this seat. I'm not as short as you think I am. <laughs> my friend, my brother, and my dear sister, Mrs. Odinga. My dear colleague, President Kikwete, when you came in this morning, you wanted to sit where there was a flag. And I said to you, you and I are now men without flag. All that President Ruto has said about you, I will only put it in one word or uh, describe or add to it in one word, just to say, I concur. Because I know you. And as I said yesterday, you, knowing you have been a blessing, and I don't know whether I should also say the other part of it here. Because by knowing you as far back as the beginning of 1990s, you made me to come here in 1995. to go to Kisumu where we were yesterday and I was part of that last honor we did to Karamoji Udinga. When I returned home in Nigeria, I was accused of coming to Kenya to join the opposition to topple the government of Kenya. And I was also accused of planning coup in Nigeria. That landed me in prison. So your invitation 
for me to come to Kenya in 1995, am I not keeping my mouth shut when I got back home? Landed me in jail. So knowing you have been a blessing, because if I haven't gone to jail, maybe I wouldn't have become president of Nigeria. But President Ruto said you will be making Africa proud and powerful. You are right, Mr. President. You will do more than that. You will make Africa proud. You will make Africa powerful. You will make Africa peaceful and you will make Africa prosperous. Whether you like me or not, you need me. Because I buy what you produce. Na kueka peso mufukoni. So, when the Ugandans woke up, and they started producing, producing. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of production in Uganda. Not everything is in surplus. Surplus, surplus, surplus. Atuna will conserve water. The little prosperity we have is because when you allow us, when you buy our products, Tunakwenda you. When you close us, like I have had now, you have closed the sugar now. Please, Fungwa, Sukari, you want <laughs> When you close the. Mr. Fungia, Mayai, eggs, Maziwa, Sukari, Mahindi, all that blocks us. The, before I came, the, there was a young man from Djibouti, he came. The young man that is. That I, I normally see him that he's a minister. He came and told me that he was he, he, he was he was the one who was the candidate candidate for Djibouti. Uh, of course, I greeted him well. We took photographs. We, <laughs> we, we had a cup of tea, but but I told him I said no. Uh, I, I'm, I actually told him that I was coming here to support. Uh, Right Honorable Raira, because he's a candidate who is fit for this job. <laughs> Some people have gone to the moon. Have you heard of people who have gone to the moon? There are four people in the world who have gone to the moon. The Americans have gone there the Russians, the Chinese, and the Indians recently. For us, we are here. <laughs> Those people are on the moon. You know, when I was, when I was fighting, I could hide in the forest. And uh, if, if this is the hill, somebody on the side will not see me when I'm hiding here. But if somebody is on the moon and you are here, <laughs> he's, he's looking at you. And you don't even know that he's looking at you. <laughs> we are like ants. If you do the Vinakura Sukari, Hokapo, Mutan and Aviangaria, have you come and Aviangaria? You can bring doom, you can bring insects. This is not acceptable. And this is all caused by us, by the ideo ideological bankruptcy of the, of, of the people who, who want to manage Africa's affairs. Africa is very strong. 
we defeated the Europeans here by war, not, by, not just by talking. <laughs> so therefore, sorry to divert you because if you, you are the ones who invited me. If you don't want to hear the story of my stories, don't invite me. <laughs> there, there are some individuals in, in Raira's group who, 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 who I don't think know what they are doing. <laughs> you know, I, I am a consumer of intelligence services. So I always see intelligence service reports. There's a character called Babu. I received Babu, 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 Babu. Dealing with anti-Ugandan group, anti-NRM group, seeing Ugandan. So I had never chosen him, but now I'm choosing Babu. But those are individuals, they are not the Raira group. Because I know Raira from the nationalist and pan-Africanist. So, Munsamehe Manenu Mengi, I am here to support the candidature of Raira Odinga.